Well, in case you're wondering if it's really a spiritual war we're watching, here's this news story. The Illinois Elementary School is offering an after-school Satan Club. The local school district is defending the Satan Club. It's sponsored by the Satanic Temple of the United States. The club claims it will help kids learn benevolence and empathy as well as, quote, personal sovereignty. What happened when Tucker Carlson took issue with an after-school program led by the Satanic Temple? Well, he ended up getting schooled on the First Amendment. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I'm legal analyst Adrian Lawrence. After Tucker Carlson found out that there's an Illinois suburb hosting a school led by the Satanic Temple, the Fox News host, well, he invited Satanic Temple's Lucian Greaves on as a guest, and he tried to flex a little bit. Didn't go as planned. Are, are parents complaining that there's an after-school Satan club at their children's school? Some are, but they don't have to send their children to the program. It's available for parents who do want to send their children to the program, and it's there as an alternative to religious clubs that are made to proselytize to children. Ours doesn't include items of religious opinion. It doesn't include indoctrination. It just has a self-directed learning program with trained educators there to help guide the children through different... Upon seeing that his guest was eloquently prepared, well, Tucker tried to get a little bit snarky about how the Satanic Temple after-school program teachers are trained. Where are the Satan Club's trained educators trained? Is there a They're Satan trained through School us. of we've Theology? No, we've, uh, we've got educators who have volunteered with us. We vet them. We do the criminal background checks that aren't required of after-school clubs and haven't been required of any of the religious clubs because we want to be responsible about this. Background checks and training? I don't think Tuck expected this outfit to be legit. Of course, the conservative host then took an implicit hit at his guest's religion with this next question, and I don't think Tucker enjoyed the response. Have any school administrators said, look, I, I know you can like lecture me about religious freedom, but you're a Satan club, and we're not going to let little kids go to the Satan club. Is anybody, or are they just passive like everyone else in America and kind of letting it happen? Well, that's not being passive. That's understanding what the law is. That's understanding what the Constitution is. That's understanding what free speech is and what religious liberty is. And then the conflating began. Tucker had the nerve to liken free speech with hate speech. Could there be an I hate gays club or black people are inferior club? And the answer, of course, is no, because the community, and I'm not advocating for either one of those things, but the community has some say in what its kids are exposed to on government property i.e. a public school. Seems to ignore the fact that Satanism is a religion that's entitled to protection under the First Amendment. So just as those evangelicals out there can offer their after-school programs, so can the Satanic Temple. And as the gentleman eloquently said, it would violate the First Amendment for schools to, you know, pick and choose which religion they want to allow. But as you'd imagine, Tucker, well, he can't hear the legal stuff. Why? because he's too busy peddling his exaggerations and his lies about some religious war against Christianity. You can categorically deny religion, but what you can't do is give the government the opportunity to pick and choose between which religious viewpoints they'll allow and but which they do ones all they the, will they, they do all the time. I mean, you can be suspended from school for quoting portions of the Old Testament, like immediately. You could be, I mean, what you, I'm trying not to, to use profanity on the air, but what you're saying is ridiculous. We both know it's ridiculous. Ridiculous? What's ridiculous is Tucker, what, picking and choosing when the First Amendment should apply and who gets protections based on his white supremacist evangelical oppressive agenda. You know what? I am tired of it, and apparently so was Tucker's guest. Well, people get upset about it, people like you, and they don't reconcile their viewpoints on free speech and religious liberty. I don't know what you're suggesting. I don't know if you're suggesting if the school board should say, no, this is not allowed and we're going against the Supreme Court ruling. And as you may imagine, when he can't actually argue facts, law, or logic, Tucker goes on with that tactic of just talking over the person. Well, what I'm saying is allowed. you ought to be allowed to quote the New Testament out loud in school if, I mean, if we're going to apply the standard, which I suppose I'd be happy to live under, we have to apply it equally, but it's not applied equally, as you know. Yeah, sure, Tuck. Except for the fact that these schools also offer a Christian-based after-school program, which is why the Satanic program is being offered as an alternative. Damn, is it always lies with this guy, or does he ever listen? Anyways, hit the like, follow button. Thanks for watching.